Hey guys, today on the podcast, we got Suru Uru. Suru is currently playing for the Queensland Reds, Australia 8, and has been in the Wallaby squad. I hope you guys enjoy the story with Suru, as he has an amazing story coming out of Fiji to playing in the Queensland Reds. I hope you guys enjoy this podcast, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, yeah, I was a bit nervous, but um, nah, I'll try and I'll, try, I'll do my best. I'll try. Thank try and you. Do my best to yeah. answer your question, yeah. Any time. What did you want to be when you were growing up? Uh, <laughs> well, when I was growing up, uh, when I was growing up, when I was around about three to uh, six, uh, my all my aunties, uncles, they always asked me, "What do you want to do?" And um, it's because every time when I see the plane, I was like, "Yep, I want to be a pilot when I grow up." And yeah, then, no. and I was going. Yeah, and then as I was growing up, because dad was in the military, he was a soldier. And then uh, when I was growing up, I was like, nah, I changed my mind. I want to I wanna join the army. I want to be a soldier. But, and then uh, as I was coming, like, everyone changed. Like, I didn't know I would, I didn't know I would end up here in Australia um, playing footy. Um, but, yeah, I can still fulfill my dream to join the army. Uh, um, yeah, we see we see how it goes. But I'm enjoying, enjoying my foodie at the moment. Really enjoying it, and um, really um, really loving it here too in um, Australia. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How would your oldest friend describe you? Oldest friend described me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oldest friend um, back in back at home or here in uh, Australia. Either way, either way. Well, back at home, um, growing up, growing up, I was always the tallest out of all my, out of all my friends, and they they always um call me this nickname, uh, in Fijian called Kambalavu, which means like um tall, tall, just like tall, tall person. <laughs> yeah. So every 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 time when someone comes and ask like if someone comes and just ask my friends, oh, do you know um Seru? And they'd be like, oh, yeah, Seru, the tall one. So everyone just know me as the tall tall kid back, back growing up. And uh, till now, till now, they still call me that uh, name. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> what are you most proud of in your life or career so far? Um, what, I'm, uh, what I'm proud of is um, what I've been achieving right, like now. Um, being, uh, being fulfilling the dream. Um, cause, um, yeah, growing up, growing up, um, when I started playing footy, I, I wanted to, I wanted to get far in footy, I wanted to, um, do something better in life and, um, yeah, which is, um, happening and, um, I'm so happy about it. Like, um, couldn't believe, like, just the rugby ball taking you around, around the wall and, um, even... Even some places you never dreamt that you um you uh, stood foot um just playing rugby takes takes you everywhere, which is um which is I'm proud of and um and uh, hopefully many more to come in the years years to come yeah yeah definitely yeah yeah that's so good how do you handle hard times mm. like getting injured or for example moving from Fiji to Australia like what's all that all like um yeah one thing one thing of one thing i've always um one thing i've always wanna like i wanna do when i go um go through hard times it's just for me it's just trying to stay happy like just always keep that smile on your face never shows never show everyone that you're going through a hard time or anything just always smile and um sometimes i always um spend a long like just um a long time by myself and just listen to music yeah. and if things and, and if it's really really um serious like really tough one um music I always uh songs I always listen to is just a hill song because it's always um it's always like really touching and then just 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 gets me emotional sometimes but yeah, after that, like, after that, I just, like, like, I'll be, after, after listening to all that or, 
I was thinking of that, like, um, once it's done, like, I'll be, I'll be happy and then just nothing, like, nothing happens. Just, I didn't go through, like, hard time or, any, or anything, which is, like, which, which is the best thing, like, for me, like, I never, like, I do take things seriously, but I will, at the same time, like, I always want to be always happy and don't, 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 don't make those, um, hard things that you go through pulls you down in life and and cause sometimes like when those hard things get serious it can pull you down and you can just follow the wrong path of your life yeah well, well for me i've come through um well for me growing up came through hard life but one thing i've always come through a hard life followed Followed wrong, um, wrong crowd, but one thing for me, like I've always made good decision for my life, and always trying to be happy. Always trying to be happy. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah, nice. No, definitely, mm-hmm. that'd be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> What's it been like playing in the Super Rugby and now playing in Super Rugby Pacifica, playing against Fiji now? Um, well. That was growing up as a kid, watching Super Rugby, watching rugby. It was always a dream, always a goal. And then when I moved here to Australia, when I stood foot here in Australia, I told myself, yep, I'm here now. And my next job is just to work hard to achieve that. And coming by playing club footy, never, never, um, never caught my, um, my eyes off it. So, uh, I uh, played in Melbourne, played club footy, moved up here in Bris- um, to Brisbane, played club footy here. So when I started here in Brisbane playing club footy, my first goal was to play NRC. And then when I jumped into NRC, my next goal was to try and make um, Super Rugby. And uh, yeah, I did all that. And then I started playing Super Rugby. My f- uh, my first debut, I just felt it was just different, different different from club level, different from NIC. And uh, yeah, and then from when I debuted to now, just always give me a boost to just go out there and do my best, do my best for myself, for my family back at home. And uh, yeah, to always, to always um, fly that flag, country flag, Fiji, which I'm always, always proud to be a Fijian. And uh, yeah, it was it was um, tough, a bit tough, a bit emotional playing alongside my Fijian <laughs> Fijian brothers. But at the end of the day, yeah, just went out there, just did my job for um, for my team, for my brothers, and uh, did everything I could uh, to um, to win, which was uh, which was good. But um, yeah, it was it was tough playing alongside them. I I know it was always going to be tough playing alongside um, uh, Fijian brothers. They will always bring bring that toughness. But um, yeah, left to be uh, always have to be strong. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, don't 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 ever don't ever back down. Just keep on pushing. Which was uh, yeah. Yeah, d- definitely. You'd be yeah far out. <laughs> and yeah. then what's it been like playing for the Reds now? But like, how have you enjoyed that experience? Ah, uh, yeah. When I first joined the Reds, like first coming into the Reds, like just look, um, looking at the vibe, the boys were just all connected. The culture, like it was just different. Like it was not like um, when you join a Super Rugby team, you'd be like. You'd be like trying to walk your way in where with the Reds, you would just like everyone just open their arm, like open their hands up and just like welcome you as like you already, you already part, part of it like for a long time. They just welcome you and then in training, like if you, if you um, don't know anything, if, like your knowledge, if you're black with knowledge, there's the boys are there to help you and just to push you around in training. Like I'm been really enjoying it. Good bunch of uh, blokes, 
uh, coaching staff, management, yeah, all just good blokes. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Have you always played in like that back row? Like, sort of, have you always played in the back row? Nah. Uh, but, um, back, back in school, always played, um, uh, always played lock. Mm-hmm. Always played lock uh, through school. And then when I came, when I joined the Fiji 20s, I was playing lock. And then the one time there, because I was like really, back then I was really light. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was really light. And then mm-hmm. I got an opportunity to uh, jump in the eight position. When I jump in the eight position, I really, yeah. really enjoyed it. And then, yeah, I was like, I was like, yep, this is going to be my uh, new position now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just love being at the back of the scrum, picking up the ball, having a run, <laughs> or from line out. Yeah. Yeah, nice. From then, yeah, from then, I really enjoyed playing back row. Yeah, nice. And now, obviously, you're playing yeah. six on the weekend? Yeah, playing six on the weekend, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. What was your path to professional rugby, starting from like when you were in Fiji to where you are now? Um, my path, uh, so in school, in school, um, from, I started from primary school, I was playing, playing a bit of footy and then came up to secondary, came up to secondary, uh, my, my parents didn't allow me to play like first when I was in form three, form four, form five, until up to form six. I was not allowed to play um, rugby in school. I was a bit down, but I uh, couldn't couldn't um, couldn't uh, fight the decision that my parents has um, told me. But mm-hmm. it didn't it, it didn't um didn't let go of what I wanted back like, of my goal and my dreams. I still still did training, still played touch footy after after school, and then from school. And uh, from school, yeah, went up to play in this. Um, there's this comp, like a school comp. It's very huge in Fiji. It's called the Dean's Dean's competition. Mm-hmm. When I played, uh, uh, went to and f- went to a boarding school actually, and then from there, played the uh was in it was in the under eighteen under eighteen. We played in the Dean's competition and we won the final from there. And that was like one of the biggest achievements I've achieved like, for yeah. my career, winning that, winning that um, Dean's competition, the under 18 is great. And then from there, and then from there, I was like, um, this is not the end of the world. I, I, like, I need to keep on pushing myself. Yep. I need to, um, I was, I need to, like, I need to, I want to, uh, like, only thing that came in my mind, I was like, I want to go play in overseas. I want to go play in overseas. So mm-hmm. from there, and then I got picked in the 20s for Fiji, played 20s for Fiji. And then um, I got signed by an a agent and um, came over to Melbourne. And I was in this um, a program called the Island Breeze. It was mm-hmm. like a youth, 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 um, youth with a mission um, group. So I came over to uh, Melbourne, played a uh, club game there, 2017. Moved to Australia in 2017, played club game there, 2017. And then 2018, I played there. And then because I was trying to have a crack for um, NRC and uh, Melbourne Rebels, but yep. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, uh, uh, couldn't do, um, couldn't have a crack because I don't know, it's just, too too small, too um too small, too skinny back then to have a crack there. And then I uh, got an opportunity to come up here to Brisbane. So um came up here to Brisbane and had a crack here in Brisbane and um yeah, everything was just history. Yeah. Um now I'm, yeah, now I'm with um Reds and I'm happy and I'm happy to be with the Reds. Yeah. Yeah, nice. What are your goals for the next couple of years? Goals for next um goals for next uh, couple of years is uh is um 
well, my goal for now, my goal for now is to try and uh, don the the yellow jersey to be in the Wallabies. That's my goal for now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm just take I'm just taking every um step now, like just every step at a time. Uh, just trying to just trying to be in the um Wallaby squad and just trying to play for Wallabies. Uh, yeah. Yeah, That's nice. That's the goal for now, yeah. Yeah, nice. Who's the worst teammate through your career to room with? Worst <laughs> teammate through my career to room with? <clears throat> uh, to room with. Nah, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't been with anyone who's been, like, worst to room with, actually. That's like all good. My, all my... All my like all my roommates with the uh, from 20s, 50, 20s, or from now, now in um, Reds, uh, always, always been uh, Lipo or, or Suli. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Even yeah. at the Red. But um, I've been with um, other boys, other boys in the team, but nah, they were all good. They were all good. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. What's the best word to describe you right now? <laughs> best word, um, best word, uh, best word to describe you right now. Um, I would say, ah, uh, I would say the smiling assassin. <laughs> yeah, no, I said yeah. a good one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say smiling. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what oh. advice would you give a 14 year old today? Uh, advice to give a 14 year old today is never give up. Never give up. Always keep on fighting. The be- there's, you'll go through heaps of battles, but never give up. Mm. Always keep on fighting. And there's heaps of doors there that if 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 there's a door if a door closes today, that's not the end of the wall. There's heaps of there's heaps more doors out there that will open like opportunity. And and um always always listen to your mom and dad. That's the main thing. Always listen to your mom and dad. And always have um that respect. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great advice. Thanks for coming on the podcast today. Ah, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the podcast. I really hope you guys enjoyed the podcast with Suru and I'll see you in the next one.